You see you, baby. All right, so we're here at Coral Gables at one of the participating homes um, that are in the irrigation retrofit program or that signed up for the irrigation program. The neat thing about this property is that they're actually going to start from scratch. Um, they do have their current system right now is an intermatic mechanical timer and indexing valve, which we 70% of the homes we see are, have these systems. So the type of system the homeowners are thinking of installing is a uh, weather-based controller. What that is, is uh, basically a control device that adjusts irrigation based on temperature and rainfall. And it comes with two components. It comes with the timer, and it also comes with the actual weather station. Another neat thing that they're gonna do is actually put low flow irrigation um, heads in their yard. Um, they're gonna be using the multi-stream um, spray head. The multi-stream actually puts down water more evenly and also puts down way less water than that of a standard uh, spray head. Right now, since they're starting from scratch, we don't see any grass right now. That's great. Um, but they're planning on putting in grass. So what they could focus on is actually um, putting zones that are only um, irrigating turf, grass, and another zone that's only irrigating shrubs if it's, if it's even necessary to do. All right, so we got to see um, a system that's gonna be completely retrofitted. You can see that there's hardly anything now, but the cool thing about it is that we're gonna come back and we're gonna actually see these changes implemented. So we're back after two, about two months. And as you can see already, uh, there's been a lot of changes done. They actually removed the indexing valve that used to be in this location. And they added electric valves, as you can see. They also added a backflow device. And if we walk this way, you could actually see the ET controller. This is gonna give the homeowner much more control over zones. Uh, it also, this particular uh, controller uses uh, very specific things in your zone, like the type of head, um, shade factor, things like that. It takes that into account and it also takes uh, weather and rain and it adjusts irrigation um, based on all that. If we step over here, we can actually see the, the weather station. They put it in a very good location, you can see. Um, they put it in a spot that it's not under trees, uh, not under roof lines, perfect. The interesting thing about this property is that they actually have shrubs and grass in the same area. There's two ways to water this. There is the wrong way and then there's the right way. Um, the wrong way would be to irrigate all this in one zone. The reason being is because your grass requires different amounts of water than your shrubs. Um, the right way would actually be to separate them, putting one zone on the shrubs and a separate zone just to irrigate your grass. Another cool thing that this property did um, is that they actually installed these low flow nozzles, the multi-stream nozzles. So now they're putting a lot less water and they're putting the water where it needs to be. Um, this is an example of an area that's just grass, so it's just basically just watering um, grass, no shrubs around this zone. So now you see an example here of a zone that's completely shrubs. It has no grass connected to it. Um, it's gonna take this very unique information, um, the ET controller is, and it's gonna know that it just basically shrubs is irrigating, which will put down a lot less water than you would on grass. So this is an example of, uh, of a homeowner that had an inefficient irrigation system and decided to go more efficient. They separated their, their zones based on plant type. Um, they installed a smart controller, a weather-based controller, and they also put in um, low-flow multi-stream sprays, which will reduce a lot of their water use and now um, will save them 
a lot more money in the long run.